my name is Dr. Nigel Taylor. I, I'm a faculty member here at the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center. I work on two major projects, both revolving around the tropical root crop cassava. Our goals are to enhance cassava for its nutritional content and also to increase its resistance to the virus diseases that impact the plants in Africa. This is the, the plant tissue culture laboratory where we actually insert genes into the plants. Upstairs in the molecular biology labs, they are examining the plants at the subcellular level. So they're looking at the DNA and the RNA and the protein. And the discoveries that are made up there will allow the scientists to identify genes, for example, that would lead to enhanced beta-carotene or for improved resistance to disease. But here in the plant tissue culture lab, this is where we actually put these genes into the plants so that we can see whether they work develop the plants and then deploy them eventually we hope to the field in Africa. And what takes place here in the plant tissue cultural laboratory is purely manipulation of the plant tissues. What we want to do is we want to generate these single cells, these totipotent cells, put the genes into those cells and then recover the plants from there. So what we do is we start with small cuttings plants um, in cultures. You can see here these plants are very small, almost bonsai like. And this is the beginning of the rejuvenization process. So what we do is we cut very small leaves away from these plants and we place them on the medium. And the medium contains growth hormones. And these growth hormones stimulate the cells in the leaf to start dividing. And over a period of several weeks, they grow faster and faster and divide faster and faster. And as they do so, they also become more immature. So we're forcing the cells developmentally to become younger until we are back at the embryo stage, the single cell embryo stage. And this here is a plate of hundreds of thousands of these cells, all derived from a single leaf where the cells have divided many hundreds of times to give a group of cells like this. And these cells are what we call totipotent, embryogenic cells, way back at the very beginning of the developmental process. And this is the target tissue that we use to insert the genes into the plant. And we actually use a naturally occurring bacterium called agrobacterium. This is bacteria that's found in the soil and has evolved to naturally become a genetic engineer. So part of the bacteria's life cycle, it inserts genes that it needs into the plant cells and the plant cells will then make the compounds that the bacteria needs to complete its life cycle. So what we do now is we modify the bacteria so that it's carrying genes, for example, in this case, to increase the beta-carotene content, that is uh, the vitamin A content of plants. So when we bring the bacteria into contact with the cells here, the bacteria will insert the genes into the plant cell. And what we therefore do is we spread the tissue out on a plate and we allow them to grow and take them through a, a series of steps that allows the plant to, to develop back from the embryogenic back to the full plant. And here we can see here the early stages of the regeneration where you can see the little embryos are now developing. We can see the, the seed leaves. Um, and this is the start of the regeneration process. And these are potentially or putatively transgenic cassava plants carrying the genes of interest that we want. Here you can see these plants. These plants have all been regenerated from a single cell into which a new gene was inserted and a gene which we consider, or we hope, will give resistance to the disease. We can see here this plant is clearly showing disease symptoms on the top leaf, while this plant here, to date, is showing no symptoms whatsoever. This plant and others like it, we will now studying very carefully to, to see whether or not it remains resistant to the disease. If it does so, then this would be a candidate for going to field trial in Africa.